Yo, we are back. We back, brother. DJ Larry, this is a new set. Yeah, man. New money. New set, man. You know it's Thanksgiving week, man. Yeah, you know feel what I'm saying? Me? So we giving since we giving thanks, we might do some new shit this week, you know. Had to. Live hip hop deli is DJ Larry Love, DJ Vito. I'm here, baby. So What's we got so we got a new look, right? We got an yeah, artist that's working. So I'm going to let you introduce sure. us to the world first, but I don't know who we're talking to. Hey, man, this your boy New Money Quiz in the building, man, for sure. Shout out to New Money Quiz, New man. Money Quiz, real Atlanta nigga. Yeah, man. So Real before, Atlanta nigga. Before we really jump into this interview, you know, I got to salute my dog, DJ Montana, man. You know, working. Shout out to DJ Montana, Shots man. Out. You know, MMG affiliate working on the road. And this ain't no connection. It's just a, it's just a work relationship, right? So I don't want to mix the, you know, mix the business or whatever. But at the same time, man... Um, Give your Instagram, get your social, give your Instagram again, man. Oh, yeah, man. My Instagram, New Money Quiz. My Facebook, Twitter, and the social media, man. New Money Quiz, for I sure. Like I like that. New Money Quiz. That's so, right. Vito, man, so what's your first, before we jump in this, man, how okay. you feel first, man? I'm feeling good. We got New Money Quiz in the building. He he, he, he coming to bring us some dope. Oh, yeah, for sure. Line the streets, I'm here. Believe yeah, that. Man. You got some hot shit. We're going we gonna to drop this new single first, man. Check it out. So, yeah, before we jump into the interview, we're going to drop the single first. You know, we're yeah. going to give that. That live perception. That we got live a, reaction. We got an audience in here, so, you know, we, it's, it's live and uncut. So, we're going to see how this new song, and this, what's the, you got to, like, this is 106 and part shit, right? So, you got to introduce the song. You got to let them drop that you shit. Know, for you sure. that motherfucker like Drake or somebody in this motherfucker. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, for sure. This your boy, New Money Quiz in the building, man. Right now, we about to drop this stamp for something. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with my team, Street Capital Entertainment, for sure. Let's, Let's do it, JV. That sounds scary coming up. Who, who produced it? Who produced it? Garage Global. Believe that. You gotta stand for something. They can't be going for anything. I'm big on loyalty. I keep it real on everything. These niggas fake. Watch out for the snakes. They eat off your plate. Hold on, wait. You can't trust everybody. Cause they don't deserve it. And can't be taking no risk if it ain't worth it. feel spooky, man. Cause you gotta stand for something. You gotta stand for something. You gotta stand for something. They can't be going for anything. Yeah. Ain't no love in the street. No one told me that. Ain't no love in the street. Rich boy showed me that. It broke my heart when I seen the paperwork. Turn your partners on you that how Satan work. I got niggas in the grave. I got niggas in the chain okay. game. My girl mama got counts. My little brother, he gang bang. Reading over them bags. On the way to bring the money in. Dashboard got six racks. Might to make the work do the running man. Don't put your trust in a bitch, nigga. Every time you lose, you set yourself up for fear. Hey, I'm fucking with it. Everything I'm fucking with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man. Don't bring it back. Hold on, man. Hold on. Bring we that shit. That. No, no, we got we got the video. No, for real though. We're fucking with it so far, man. We can't give him too much. Right I, I was fucking with. I was just gonna so bring it back. So I like the energy, man. I like the energy. I, I appreciate it. that, bro. That shit feels spooky. Real spooky. You know what I'm saying? So you said, who you said produced it again? Dorage Global. Dope. Dorage been working dope. for a minute too. That's a classic name in Atlanta right now, man. Really? Yeah, for sure. What for side sure. of town you coming from? Um, originally from the city of Atlanta. I'm from Summer Hill, but you know, I represent the whole Atlanta. Okay, okay, that's real dope. Atlanta, fuck with you. You everywhere. Oh, for sure. That's who influenced you. You know what I'm saying? You, being from everywhere, I'm sure you got all type of different influences. Mm -hmm. So who, who would you say influenced you or influenced your sound? Because I hear a lot of Atlanta in your music. Mm -hmm. so, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So who, who would you say influenced your sound and influenced you the most being being all over Atlanta? Um, well, honestly, like I said, I've been rapping since I was 10 years old. Okay. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I I know the real Atlanta. Okay. You no, know, it, it's different. You know, we going to get into that. But, studio baby. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of niggas in studio, but, and when I say that is, it's a lot of like prestigious studios in Atlanta that you can catch anybody. You can't go to a lot of cities and do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that That's true. Anybody, you go to Patchwork and meet mm -hmm. this person. You can go to East Side and fuck with Zaytoven people and meet that person. True. You can go downtown to 10th Street and meet this person. At true. Studio. Like, true. True. I think uh, it's a cheat code for people coming out of Atlanta. That's my that's my mm -hmm. perception of artists. Wow, you know. think it's a cheat code? I mean, right now with the game, man. I mean, New York had this shit. Remember niggas was running well, thirty years, years ago. Yeah, that's niggas true. was running in New York. That's Somebody true. rang along going. So niggas was uh niggas was running in New York first. True. Doing the same shit that we doing in Atlanta. Now. Um, I mean, think about it. Yeah. Until I feel like it's people, true though. People had labels back then though. Because Facts. Your label was taking you to New York. You're doing your media runs. Same thing. That's what most. Everybody that's most of the labels kicked off. Around that you know New York. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, I, I feel what you're saying. Now it's kind of Atlanta. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Yeah. We can agree on that one. Yeah, for sure. Keeping a hundred. Facts. Facts. Did you, uh, did you attend A3C events this year? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I attended um a, a couple of stages. I was so busy with um you know music and yeah. dropping videos, okay. so 
I I, I hit a couple stages. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's your perception of A3C for the artist that's been working or for artists that just starting? Like, when do you think in the artist's career that he needs to go to something like A3C? Honestly, if you take music serious, it, it don't matter where you at in your career. True. You know what I'm saying? True. And if you get an opportunity to, you know, showcase your music right. or what you got going on to people, I think you should take advantage of that any chance you get. That's a good answer. That is. That's you know, a good answer. That's a great answer. It ain't nothing too big or too small, I think. Yeah, so for that's, sure. That's a definitely good answer. Mm. So um, so far as the, I guess, the culture of Atlanta, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been in Atlanta since niggas was leaning and rocking, nigga. Oh, yeah, for sure. Niggas was two-stepping. They was cranking the Roosevelt. So you been here, man. Been that, man. White tees. You been here, man. been here since 2003, man. Oh, shit. I'm from <laughs> South Carolina originally, though. Yeah. Okay, um, South Carolina, the builder. But since being in Atlanta, I guess, what was the culture then to the culture now? Of the music that you think, um, since we we talking Atlanta right now, yeah. Or well, back in the days, um, it was more serious. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like if if you get on the track or you, you do music, like you doing it because you love to do it, mm. or, and you doing it to you know get your point across or you mean what you say. Mm. But nowadays, it's not like that. It's whatever the trend is, I'm gonna do that because it's bubble gum. Yeah, it's I see what he saying. did it, I see what so I'm gonna do it. That's so, real. I see what you're saying. I mean, I think it's the think about it. I think it was what it was back in the day. They didn't have Instagram, they didn't have social media, they didn't have all this shit to influence them. Like, you that's know what I was gonna say. It wasn't a lot of followers. Everybody didn't of, follow everybody. Like, you still had to go to the record store to, to get your favorite artist, right? Like, CD, right? Yeah. That's true. Like, I, agree. I don't know. Like, earlier this week, we interviewed our, ne- our, our network, interviewed the legendary DOC earlier this DOC. week. DOC, shout out to the legendary for the rap head, yes, sir. DOC, for sure. Right? So, it was a guy in there, and he said that he remembered when. DLC's album dropped and it sold out that he's like he had to close his store because he sold out of like people was mad at like I remember those days of music, you know what I'm saying? But now that things are digital, it's, it's a different hit, it's a different impact, you know what I'm saying? So I, I like what you said, you know what I'm saying, so far as the change with it. So so far as the major 2020, what's your what's your plans in and out the fourth quarter? Hey man, my plan for Before we get into this chat, we talk, you know. Hey man, really, you know, to make Everybody on my team is successful, not not just me. I like that. I ain't doing it just for just me. Like I'm doing that. it for my whole team so everybody can be successful. Everybody got kids to take care of, families to take care of, mamas, daddies, auntie, grandmas. Shout them boys out again. Street capital. Oh, yeah, street yeah, capital entertainment. They're my team. Out. Shout them boys out. That's hard, I know man. you got a project from the drop. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm dropping a project on uh, January. Oh, mm. January. We should be looking out for that. Notable First quarter. Features. Oh, yeah, for sure. We got some notable features. Hey, we got I, that I, motherfucker. I, I can't. I can't release this sauce hey, just yet. Yeah, stay tuned. That's, That's it. Stay tuned. That's stay tuned. Stay but tuned. before we uh before we go to the this next segment, let's drop. I think we got the interview, right, JB? We got this interview. I mean, interview. We got this video. Video. I said interview. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just. It's all up. good. It's, it's early, all man. good. It's all I said good. you got this interview. <laughs> we we got this video. Uh, stand for something, man. Who produ- Uh, who who shot this video? Deraj Global. Oh, shout out Deraj Global do it all. And he produced? Pop. Yeah, for sure. Damn, shout out Deraj Global. Yeah. He OG sure. name. I've been hearing that name. Yeah, OG I've name. Heard of him. He been working. OG names worked with me, man. Deraj family, man. I've been knowing Deraj for a very long time. Okay. Really? Before I took music Atlanta. serious. Atlanta based? Yeah. yeah. But Deraj is not from Atlanta. Mm. Deraj is mm. from Louisiana. Mm. But I've been knowing Deraj since I was like 14 years old. Oh, okay. Before I started, you know, taking music serious. Okay. So that's dope. That's fun man. there. But well, we're gonna let you introduce this one. This we we one one on six and parking this shit. So you gotta introduce your video to the world. Let them for know about sure, you. Man. This your boy New Money Quid, man. And right now we're about to get into that stand for something video for sure. Right now on YouTube. Let's get it. Oh shit! I'm fucking with that, man. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. I see hey. the video, man. The video. Huh? Was you in class or something? And um, I, I did. You know that video. For the kids. Okay, for the kids. Yeah, okay, that was, sure. I like that. I like that, that motherfucker make you want to stand yeah. on some and shit. And they got like a positive stand for something. Exactly. Yeah, I like That's that. my whole point of doing it because, you know, to stand for something, I wanted to, it's a lot of people, like, you know, we talked about where I'm from. Yeah. It's a lot of people where I'm from and in other places just like where I'm from yeah. who don't have a voice. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? And yeah. feel like it ain't going to happen. Right. So right. I made the song stand for something to let people know, you know, it's okay to be you. That's it's real. okay to be different. That's real. You don't have to feel like you can... You got to do what everybody else doing to fit in. That's what a lot you know of that's what a lot of that. artists is lacking. Um, yeah, that's confidence right. and the wanting to be themselves. Right, you know what I'm saying? for sure. They're lost in the sauce. Man, you know back in the day, like they used to rap about current events. Like, true, that's true. You know back in the day when some shit happened, they rapped about it. You right. know what I'm saying? So another thing, like you said, like the 
the, the ignorant music being ignorant, NWA was ignorant. You know what I'm saying? They changed so, but but at the same time, it's enough my wrong. Like stand for something. You know, in between that, you can have the positive message and still have the gangsta ass beat. Oh yeah, for sure. So hard that it make the song. You know what I mean? You don't even pay attention to the message. Like, I told you, made me want to stand on some yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Make you want to, you know. But once you listen to the message, it makes the song even better. I'm fucking with sure. it. I like that. Man. I'm fucking with it. So shout out to Street Capital, definitely, man. Um, so to wrap up, I know we dropping the album. Um. Top of the year. I mean, it's an album or a mixtape. It's a mixtape. Mixtape. First Jackson quarter. Mixtape. Yeah, for sure. So for what, sure. what about the album plans? Hey man, right now I'm I'm just gonna beat you up. Okay. And okay. you know to the album con. Okay. But um, I also I, I dropped a mixtape um last year in June called uh, I Want No Money Forever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check that out. It's on all platforms. You know. Okay. And it called I Want No Money Forever. Just basically giving you and me. Okay. Then you know who I am. Okay, okay. That's, That's on dope. Spotify, Apple Music. It's on everything. Okay, okay. okay. We're going to definitely check that out, man. But definitely before we get out here, anybody want to shout out, man? Shout out to I know Street Capital, DJ Montana in the building. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shout out, oh, um, deep in here, shout out my team, DJ Montana, Major, Jed. Shout out my whole team. Um, you know, I want the money forever. Shout oh, yeah. out my mama. God, hey. everybody. And I'm glad oh, yeah. you said what you said earlier. So if it was some young niggas right now watching, because it is going to be some young niggas watching this interview, sure. it's going to be some people that look up to your same age. It may be your homeboy. Yeah, so sure. what, what message can you tell people that's watching you, you know, go up right now? What, what, what can you, what's the last, like, what statement can you tell them just, you know, from coming from New Money Quiz? Um, one man, everybody ain't going to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some people don't hold you back because, you know, the title that you give people, your brother, your mama, your cousin, your day one, they not going to believe in you like you believe in you. So at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do for you and that's move real. on. You know that's what I'm real. saying? That's why that's yeah. everyday life, God damn it. That's real. That's okay. real. For sure. Well, you know, we in the gutter with it, man. New Money Quiz, man. Stand for something, man. The next time, every time between my, what's up, Vito? I'm feeling good, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm fucking with New Money Quiz, man. Yeah. I, I, Appreciate I look that, out for the project. Look out for the, 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 the mixtape. Look out for what's the, the name EP. Of the Hey, what's talking about the mixtape coming up January. or the last one? January. Uh, right now, I, I got a couple names, so I'm just, I'm just waiting on the time coming. coming. What's the old one? What's the coming. What's the other I, one? I want new money forever. I want new money forever? For sure. Okay, new money quiz, man. I want new money forever. Make sure new I go check that quiz. out. New money quiz. New money quiz. Yes, sir. I get it right. Quiz. I get it For right. Sure. I, miss, I see Q-U-E-Z, man, so you mean you think. Drop the bomb yeah, on man. that motherfucker. You drop the bomb, man. <laughs> but now, stand for something, man. We out of here, man. Live Hip Hop Daily. Until next time. Until next time. For sure.